Hi, I'm Margaret Wrinkle, and this is Late Migrations. My mother had just died, and it was very sudden. The process of trying to figure out how I was going to be in the world without my mother was much different from losing my dad nine years earlier. He had been sick for a long time. I was writing just about the experience of grief and um, life amidst dying, but the more I thought about why did was this so hard for me, then I wanted to tell stories that made my parents alive, you know, they yeah. brought them back to life. Yeah. and made it clear why this was such a loss. I think maybe everybody feels that way in the presence of death or dying. It forces you to kind of reconsider your life. Tell me about the decision to include your grandmother's voice in this book. It just kind of dawned on me one day when I was checking the transcript of an interview that my brother had done much earlier with our grandmother. I was checking it really to make sure I had my facts correct. And then I realized this is a better voice for telling these stories. My grandmother, she was able to tell things that happened before I was born. And so putting her voice in made it possible for me to start with my mother's birth yeah. and end with my mother's death. You seem to take some comfort in the natural world, but you don't turn a blind eye to the more violent and brutal parts of the natural world in your writing. I always think it's a mistake to try to tame nature, to try to fit nature into a domesticated world. One of the undeniable things about nature is that everything dies, and everything that dies gets eaten. <laughs> And I think that that was comforting to me yeah. during the time that I was reckoning with life and death issues in my own family because it reminded me that what I was going through was not a unique suffering. Yeah. That this was part of how the world works and I was part of a larger system that somehow for me was reassuring yeah. to, it was just reassuring to feel like part of a predictable and natural cycle. Margaret, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. And thank you for joining us for A Word on Words. I'm Mary Laura Philpot. Keep reading. Your job as an English teacher in high school is really, it's not to teach literary analysis. Really your job is to create readers. And the way to create a reader is to love something in front of them.